Hello, I'm Junya Makino, a Japanese violin player. I've been actively playing modern music and contemporary music in Europe in Japan. I would like to share you the history of 20th century music. This is going to be a series and today I focus on the decade from 1940 to 1950. So let's take a look at the 10 years from 1940. So following events what happened during that period. In the first half of the 1940s, the world progressed with the color of World War II, but shortly after the end of the war in 1945, the thirst for new music spread mainly among the young generation. While absorbing the momentum, the Darmstadt summer course became the stronghold of postmodern avant-garde music. The course began in 1946 in the city of Darmstadt, about 15 minutes by train from Frankfurt, Germany. It was founded by Wolfgang Steinegg and economically supported by Darmstadt, its state Hessen, and the US military. The victorious United States actively supported the Nazi repressed music. Composers from many countries participated in the course, playing their works and having discussions at the time. Composers were commonly attracted to technology, so they were hoping to eliminate post-tonal music and hating melodies as personal and romantic. They regarded romanticism as fascist. Dutch composer Peter Schatz said, after the war, people no longer want to hear the exaggerated gestures because Mussolini and Hitler have brought too much of that. In fact, most of Darmstadt was bombed during the war. The first two years of the course were spent relearning the music between World War I and World War II, such as Hindemith, Stravinsky, Darius Mirhaut, and Arthur Honegger. With the introduction of piano concert by Schoenberg in 1948, the treble-tone techniques of the Second Viennese School became of interest. The following year in 1949, Olivier Messiaen was invited as a teacher and there he wrote a piece called Mode of Durations and Intensities, inspired by the younger generation who were absorbed in the treble-tone technique. This work has four parameters of sound, pitch, length, sound, intensity, and timbre. The piece is rationally ensembled after dividing them into categories, limiting the elements used for each parameter and creating the basic theory in advance. It is an important work that has become a guide for young musicians because Messian treated the basic serial as a mode, although it's different from the later total serial music. So here, I would like to tell you about Messian. Born in France in 1908, Messian was one of the leading musicians of the 20th century until his death in 1992. In addition to working as a composer, organist, and pianist for many years, he is also known for raising many well-known students. Bures, Stockhausen, Xenakis, Grisei, Mirai, etc. Japanese such as Akio Yashiro also are Messian students. Each of these students creates various musical styles. Messian developed the 12 tone technique and became a so called bridge of serial music established by his students since 1950. But here, I personally talk to you about Quartet for the End of Time, that one of my most favorite music of 20th century music. This piece is a composition of violin 
clarinet, cello, and piano in June 1940. Messian, who was working as a French soldier to suppress Nazi Germany in World War II, was captured by the German army. He was taken to a prison camp in the city of Gerlitz, which is located on the border between Germany and Poland. It was a terrible environment, of course, but it was relatively tolerant of entertainment, a library, orchestra, and jazz band existed there. Also, there was a theater, so they could have concerts, various shows, movie shows, and lectures. Musicians were relatively favored among the pals, and when Messian became known to be a famous musician, he was exempted from the PAL obligations and moved to another building, where he could concentrate on his composition. There were some musicians in the camp besides Messian and they could play violin, cello, and clarinet, so Messian started to write the piece that could be played by four, including the pianist himself. There were several cellos and violins in the camp, and the clarinet was also owned by the player, but no piano, so they could not rehearse together at first. When the piano arrived in November 1940, they were given four hours of practice time a day. The following year, January 1941, it was finally premiered. The piece consists of eight movements and eight episodes. The number of eight is said to be derived from the extension of the Sabbath, the seventh day of the creation of Christian thought, and the arrival of the unchanging and peaceful eight day. It's hard to even imagine for me, who had no experience of war, what it was like at that time, when you had to fight the immense horror of not knowing when and what would happen to you. No other pieces personally feel the right of hope for life like this piece. I think Messiah is showing us a world that is different from the world from despair to hope, and Hegel's dialectical world that Beethoven showed about 120 years ago. This Messian's most student is Pierre Bourez. He was born in 1926 and worked until just before his death in 2016, literally a master of contemporary music. Bures composed Piano Sonata No. 2 in 1948 using 12-tone technique. This is a representative work that rings at the top of working using the 12-tone technique. Bures himself described the piece as a work that tried to dismantle old forms and separate them from the Schoenbergian concept of serial. Based on the 12-tone technique, a 12-tone row is set for each movement, and the basic tone row is presented at the beginning of the score. However, it is very difficult to analyze the piece because the tone row is complicated in most places. Not only does it require sufficient knowledge to understand the piece, but there are also many places where it is very difficult to play making it one of the most difficult pieces of piano in the 20th century. The person who was very impressed with the music of Bures was the American composer John Cage, who was introduced in the previous episode. One of the most influential musicians in the history of 20th century music. In the United States in the 1940s, certainly many soldiers were killed during the war. But the situation was a little different from Europe in terms of the fact that only Hawaii was attacked and the mainland didn't become a battlefield. In addition, the economic power of the United States is tremendous, and music activities have been surprisingly active. For example, you can realize that through the fact the Christmas song White Christmas was composed in 1942. Meanwhile, K 
Cage, who was steadily on his own music path, visited several countries, such as Italy and France, from April to September in 1949 to learn about European music. Especially in Paris, he was impressed by the cityscape and art. He met them Messiaen and Bourrez. In particular, he was impressed with Bourrez's music, and Bourrez was also obsessed with sonatas and interludes for prepared piano by Cage. From the encounter here, Bourrez introduced Cage's music to Europe, and Cage introduced Bourrez's music to the United States that made a hot exchange. With their exchanges representing Europe and the United States, the contemporary music world continued to develop further. So next, what do the situations of the Soviet Union and Japan look like in 1940s? The Soviet Union was also in the midst of the German-Soviet war in the early 1940s. During World War II, many works singing the heroic spirit of the Soviet Union were written, as well as music such as the seriousness and sadness of times. Sergei Prokofiev's Piano Sonatas No. 6, 7, and 8 are said to be war sonata trilogy, and the composer himself described this work as confession to war. I think it can be said that this work perfectly reflects the historical background of war and the social situation. In February 1948, the Central Committee of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union issued a statement that severely criticized the composers such as Prokofiev and Shostakovich. This is called Sidanov Doctrine and as a result of the Soviet government's loose art management during and after World War II, composers weakened their creativity activities centered on former social realism. They thought that the intervention of the state was necessary and cracked down again, tried to tighten their feelings and thoughts. This resulted in a large number of works praising the party or starring until after Stalin's death. Works are generally a musical drama and read. For example, Shostakovich demonstrated his loyalty to the regime by writing the oratorio Song of the Forest, Song Cycle, from the Jewish folk poetry, and music to the film The Fall of Berlin. However, at the same time, he composed String Quartet No. 4 and Violin Concert No. 1, which are reflected in the suffering of the oppression of the regime and feelings that he wanted to express. So to speak, it's a place like diary, inner and true confession. Of course, these works were not released to the public at the time and he had to wait for the right moment and after Stalin's death. So finally, let's take a look at Japan in the 1940s. In the 1940s, composers who studied in Europe from the 20s to the 30s, and composers from a Tokyo Academy of Music, such as Ikuma Dan, Yasushi Akutagawa, Toshiro Maizumi, started to compose. The works written in the 1940s were more proficient in composition techniques than the works until the 1930s and actively adapted the technique of contemporary European music. For example, Akutagawa's music for symphonic orchestra and Toshiro Maizumi's development for 10 instruments are influenced by the neoclassical works of the 1920s. Also, in the 1940s, professional orchestras became active. That's all for this time, so let's summarize it. First of all, in 1946, shortly after the war, 
Darmstadt summer course began and musicians from all over the world gathered to become a mecca for contemporary music. Therefore, mode of duration and intensities composed by Messiaen became a bridge between the 12-tone technique and the total serial music that reached its peak in the 1950s and was further developed by Messian students. In addition, two musicians, John Cage and Pierre Bourez, who are very important in talking about the music world of the 20th century, met and introduced each other's works in Europe and the United States and began to actively interact with each other. In Japan, it was in the 1940s when works were made more actively using Western composition techniques. That's it for this time. So next time, I will talk about from 1950 to 1960. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon.